and we're live. So, Kyle, you had some harsh words for a certain morbidly obese uh, quitter, I'll call him, a quitter. Yeah. Who never yeah. gets anything done. She got That's fired. That's right. She didn't quit. <clears throat> oh, we're not talking about Gina Carano? No, no oh! I'm talking about George R.R. Martin. <laughs> Wait, you're not talking about wings? <laughs> <laughs> just a list of fat people who got fired. <laughs> no, this guy didn't even get fired. He just failed entirely. He, he was even guy. worse than getting Fuck fired. This guy. I hope he dies today. <laughs> that's a distinct Christ. possibility. Look, that's the best photo they could find of him. I guarantee that's, that's like Game of he Thrones season that photo. one. That's season a one selfie. Premiere. He's going and take it. It's Fuck hard. that guy. Fuck that. Guy. Actually, all right. Let me. Let I me, can't let me show drop. the photo. Let me pull oh, wait, that back a little. It's laziness. He finished. What was it? The first book was finished in the early or to mid '90s. Does that sound right? Like '96. I I don't want to get the numbers wrong. I don't remember. But but look here. It was in the '90s. The thing is, I don't I don't care anymore because my suspicions are that the show ended the way he wanted it to end, and that what we really missed out on was a little more character development to make it all make a little more sense. But I still don't care because if you're going to end it that way, fuck you. Fuck you for ma for writing a bad book. Fuck you for having all <laughs> these like wonderful ways it could have gone. When you look at like the fan theory, YouTube channels for uh, game of Thrones and see the stuff that they were thinking up, it's like, get Worry these guys it. a fucking typewriter. They'll finish this shit. Let one of them write their alternate version of how this shit should have gone. I would yeah. pay serious money. I, I'll, I'll sign up for Paramount Plus, whatever the fuck you want me <laughs> to. They'd thing? actually fix well, this. As, as yeah, you don't know about Paramount. Oh, Paramount Plus is a streaming service that it, it, it's like stop trying to make Paramount Plus happen. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Except it's apparently going to happen. They're getting so they're getting the Halo series, live action Halo uh, TV series, and like Does they were care about that anymore. Yes, very much Kyle so. Does. And they I were know, advertising right? the fuck out of it during the Super Bowl. Like they must have spent, I don't know, what's a Super Bowl spot cost? 10, 12 million? They must have rolled six it's or seven. Not that much. It's yeah, not. I think so. Well, you'd yeah, know better well. than me, but I thought it was. Eh. Yeah, they're running two minute thematic spots <laughs> during the. F five Super minutes Bowl. at a time. Yeah, yeah. Five minutes at a time, normal. But who yeah. knows what it was this year? Uh, I, th I thought yeah, their rates but, actually went down a little bit from their peak because their, their ratings struggled a bit. 5.6 million would be a good estimate for a 30 second spot. I don't know what you said. Yeah. yeah well, then if I, that was the minute spot, you were pretty much spot on. Well, in any case, um, yeah, back to George Martin. The, the, the headline here is that George R.R. R. Martin is bringing Roger Zelazny's fantasy novel to HBO. Apparently, this is a, a novel penned in 1979 about a road that travels through time. And it's like time road. It's like, dude, if you have time to, I'm guessing he's a producer or uh, or something like that, showrunner. I don't know what his title is going to be, what his his, uh, his his thing is going to be for this. Why is he bringing someone else's novel to HBO? Doesn't quite make a, made a lot of sense to me because he was clearly not involved enough to like save his last project, which is his book. Yeah. Uh, so like, look, if you've got time for that, then I've completely lost all faith in you because I was one of those people who was like, look, if it takes him... Maybe he dies writing the last two books, but that might actually be better than him rushing through them and like cementing shit down, right? Like, like but Tolkien has unfinished novels. Nobody minds that much. He We're finished like, oh, the big one. Yeah, but he, he didn't finish the sequel. So listen to the dates on the Game of Thrones releases, right? So listeners, yeah. like this number's coming at you. 96, 98... 2000, 2011, right? It was like two years, two years, two years, 11 years, and now we're 10 years and counting. What? Wait, no, there's five books. Uh, Not on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, did they erase the Winds of Winter? No, uh, no more Winds of Winter. They literally did. <laughs> uh, Hold on, let did, me do it again. I think Winds of, Winds of Winter, when did that come out? Uh, that came out... Oh, will Winds of Winter ever be released? It's not out. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was. That I'm, I'm. It's been so long. I've like almost like a trauma victim excised so much Game of Thrones from my head. And like, <laughs> I am happy to see how nobody, I guess we're disproving this right now talking about it, but nobody 
talks about it at all. It could have been a really big cultural thing that people referenced, and it ended so like. cataclysmically that like everybody agreed, like this was just something we don't talk about anymore. This is going to be like lost. We just don't talk about it. So, yeah, this guy will die <sighs> not writing his last two books. I, I think that as soon as he started getting fucked regularly and had a nice house and money, he did not care what happened to John. I hope a crazy fan game. kills him. I hope somebody who's very upset with what, what happened just fucking, you know, maybe Kathy, out. maybe a Kathy Bates style fan will get a hold of him and be like, write the fucking book. And Is that the woman from knees. misery? This misery. Yeah, that's the one from misery. You need, you need Kathy Bates and misery there. She would amp him up. I want actual Kathy Bates. Taylor, to get him I have he would, he would turn the, the, the manuscript in and she'd be sitting there like, Oh, oh like the movie. And then go, Arya kills the night King. Arya kills. Do you not remember from the first book? But you remember in Misery where she's referencing yes. all the things and she knows so much. You and you're gonna have Arya do it again, again. Smack his broken leg. <laughs> Taylor, I'm almost half a century old, and this is the best idea I've heard so far. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm loving yeah, this. This is a good one. Just, not so much an idea as like a crime of this fictitious person is committing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much as a crime that Kathy if you're Bates listening, the movie if you're listening to this, Kathy don't Bates, do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do anything. Do like it. That. Don't <laughs> kidnap George R. R. Martin. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Don't tie him to a bed and torture him into fixing one of the greatest pieces of fantasy literature ever penned. Don't but do if that. You do. Have him go back and edit out the whole Sand Snake thing so that can never happen again. We don't even know if that's in the books. Is that in the books? If it is, it was referenced not that much. You know, I uh, I a didn't actually happened. read the most recent book. I think I'm like four books in. I didn't. I don't think I. I think that the bad shit started happening around. Like like like, I don't remember what slowed me down and maybe not read the fifth book. But there probably were, knowing he wasn't going to release it in forever, hmm. and there's no rush. I, I might. I don't remember what my mindset was at the time. Pr prison may have popped up into my life. Dude, it was a slog to get through. As it though. does. Um, I did really? listen to all the books. Yeah, but oh, I love the books. I, there were times when I was kind of multitasking and stuff. So I don't like I, I don't know if I could mm -hmm. pass a test on them, but I did it sit through them all. So, uh, yeah, I don't remember the Sand Snakes being a significant part of it. I think no, it was more the show else. that did that. It's, but you're right. It is so weird that they would bring that George R. R. Martin would still be involved at this point. Like, what credibility is his name bringing? Like, Dude. if anything, when people hear about him, they're like, oh, yeah, the guy who didn't finish the Game of Thrones book and totally shit the bed with nothing but opportunity. But it, in fairness, no, no, wait. The two David, Benny, what, the two David D &D, guys. D&D, they often call yeah, them. Yeah, they were the ones who ultimately shut it down. But I'm pretty sure we found out a while back when this first happened that George R. R. Martin signed off on that. Like, yeah, sure. We can we can knock this out in eight more episodes. Like I he, think you're right. George R. R. Martin probably could have had the sway, you know, as the guy who wrote the fucking books to be like, oh no, sorry, D you know, D and D or whatever. You're gonna have to go an extra season. I would prefer three, but you gotta do this and an extra one. Like he had that sway. He wrote the fucking books. He just didn't care. I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's pissing me off. I'm, I'm actually more upset about it than I thought I would be. I, I'm, I'm, I'm legit, <laughs> like, like <laughs> Like I really am upset about it. Like, like, like I, I, that was a great story. It bothers me so much. Like, I remember like planning to like buy the DVD box set for my father, and like thinking mm -hmm. about like what a great gift this is going to be for him. Like, like, cause he, he's, he. I showed him Battle of the Bastards um, one night, like at my house. I mm -hmm. was like, cause I was always talking about the show, how good it was, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, come, come in here, come in my bedroom. Let's sit down. Let's watch. Let, let me show you one episode of this mm -hmm. TV show that I watch. I was like, keep in mind, this is a TV show. And, I, and we get like five minutes in and I'm like, all right, so here's the setup. That guy has kidnapped that guy's little brother. Been holding him hostage for like two fucking years. He raped that guy's sister after he forced her into a marriage. She's, she's now all messed up. He skins people alive. Oh, and by the way, that castle that he's coming out of, that's this guy's ancestral home. And he's showing up with all of his friends from the north, mm -hmm. but there's, they're outnumbered three to one. But he's showing up to fight anyway because it's the right thing to do. He could have stayed up there. 
and I'm, I, I like lay it all out for him and we watch it and he was like well this is a hell of a show and he was like, <laughs> he's like that, this is like a movie this is like a movie and he was like he's like were those real horses i was like yeah they were real horses wow he's like like that reminded me of braveheart i'm like exactly that's what we compare it to it's just like braveheart with the horses mm -hmm. it's and then like i was thinking like oh he's gonna love it when i hand him this kakonk like box set of blu-rays with with the full you know thing on there and now i'm just like he we, he brought it up a few months ago when he was here and I, I was like, ah, they ruined it. They ruined it at the end. I was, I was like, they just decided nothing they had written mattered and they wanted to wrap it up so they could make some more money on a different job and they just ruined it. Eh, they just it's still ruined a good it. gift. Just give it to them on April Fool's Day. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't now. fucking, I'll, I'll buy them the Sopranos again, but this a Blu-ray <laughs> this time instead of DVD. It'd be a much better gift. Yeah, Sopranos. Fuck that up. show.